walk in my shoes is a thousand years of unfound clues. At some point you'll find hidden scars, a concealed bruise. A walk in my shoes is a trip across places to places. That cannot be crossed as at every footstep, every mile comes at a great cost. How did we get to this point in time? It took minutes, days, months, years of pain without closure. As I seemingly try to hide along with a fake smile. I think you've walked enough. When I said it would be an excruciating road, I wasn't just acting tough. Neither was it a bluff. That's a walk in my shoes. Are you ready to lace up your own walking shoes? Come get up and dust off. There's still a lot more to do. You've crossed paths over paths I have not seen in a while, so together let's lace up and walk one more mile. Basically, we're in class one day, and uh, Mr. Gage put on a documentary, Tinker Hatfield documentary. Basically, he was just talking about how one of the Jordans that he was making, he put like a bunch of symbols and had different meanings of them. And then after, I think we all just thought that it would be a good idea to, to like make our own customization of shoes and put our own intake on like Tinker Hatfield's idea. You know, we came up with this idea of the shoe project and we came up with the idea of um, attaching symbols to the shoes and like bring, bringing symbols from our lives and putting them in the shoes. Um, but uh, I think the realization that the students didn't have enough, we didn't really have enough students, you know, it's a small class, there's only seven of us, so like an exhibition with seven shoes isn't much of an exhibition. So the realization that we had to include other students. And so they decided to include the Sec 5 class. And then it was like, oh wow, like all of a sudden, I have my students preparing worksheets and preparing a lesson for secondary five students. Like having them, putting them in the teaching role um, was, uh, that, that was like, I was like, when I realized that was happening, it was like, wow, that's amazing. I've never had this happen before. Um, after you finished uh, painting your shoes, what did your group do? Um, we split up in two groups. One wanted to go pay, paint the, lime, the library, um, and the second group came to record that I'm in. I'm in the recording um, group. I control the camera, I set up all the mics, I learned how to take a video properly, how a mic should sound, like how the person should sound, if it's good or not, how to set up like the mic volume, um, learn how to edit. I'm editing videos now. What about skills more related to interviewing people? Um, at first, I asked them about their symbols. I wasn't really good at it at first. And then I just kept on doing it like almost every day. So I got better at it. Let's say they'll say, oh, I go out with my family. I'll ask them like, where do you go? And stuff like that. So, they could, so I could get more information about this symbol. So it says Blicky World. It's from my friend that passed away two years ago. His name was Darius Brown. That's why I have the crown with the DB stands for his name. Um, he was a good person, he was like a brother to me. He actually grew up wearing shoes like this. He had all black ones. He told me it's not about what you have, it's how you rock it. So, yeah. The Blue Flame is basically like the, the courage that I have to, to be open-minded more, like you be more open-minded. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Keep on trying. Get up if you if you failed in life. Just keep on going. The scratches over here, uh, kind of like uh, yeah, like marks, are for my uh, well, three dogs technically. 
I have two dogs and I love them very much, but mainly it was for my third one. He died a couple of years ago, but I just did this for him because I just love him, really. And I, it was just a lot of fun memories of him. He's always been my grandfather's favorite character, so I felt like I needed to put this on him for him. He was a funny person. He's always, he's always happy. Like nothing, I really, never really got him down. So I felt like him and Daffy Duck are the same. Um, yeah, as far as the mural goes, uh, I started off at the beginning, uh, a couple of sessions working with Jaden. Uh, on the design and he had an uh, early sketch of what ended up being the, the um, final mural or at least he had a sketch of, of a figure in a certain position and we kind of took it from there um, and then added the shoes and the, and the text to the background. Yeah, I had a lot of assistance from the 15 plus crew uh, and then and a few other people as well um, working on the, on the painting itself. Uh, basically, we, what we did was took the initial design, uh, put it on a computer file with, that was black and white, projected it against the wall, traced it out, and then at that point it's kind of like a big coloring book, a very big coloring book that you need ladders to, to complete. So. Creativity that people show is unbelievable. I really loved uh, listening to everybody uh, talking about all of the symbols on their shoes, but particularly the way it like, uh, related to their families and their, their memories and their lives. Uh, it was really beautiful. It was kind of a nice way to learn about people. So I think it's been a great event, and uh, I wish we had more events like this in the future. This kind of project absolutely brings in so many real life skills that, um, you know, otherwise are kind of missed in schools. You know, having this kind of broad open palette of basically like, hey, you can do anything and really like honing in and like trying to create like a really tight concept that would really work. And then taking it and like following through, following through all the steps, you know, and then on the way learning all these skills, like you have to create a spreadsheet in Excel, they have to like use, uh, use Pre uh, Premiere Pro to create a video, all these kind of skills that they can use um, it, it later in life. It's not just the fact that you get free shoes, it's just that some you get to create something that no one else has and you can do whatever you want on it. It's about how you feel about it at the end of the day. It's just, it's, it's a representation of what you think and what you feel.